Alright guys, good morning. Um, this is Brad once again. Um, this is not a follow-up video about um, Kodo vs Mayweather. This is a different one. This is about um, Pacquiao vs Bradley. Um, I was watching YouTube and I've seen lots of people saying Bradley is going to knock out Pacquiao. I'm not saying that this is impossible. It is possible, yeah. But not to the extent um, of which people are saying it's going to happen that way. I mean, easy. Because they're pointing out that um, Bradley is young, undefeated, he's a power puncher. Yeah, I guess he has power, and so on and so forth. But let me tell you this: these same people that you know that say Bradley is gonna uh, gonna knock out Pacquiao cold. These are the same people that tell us that the only way you can beat Pacquiao is if you are a boxer. If you are a good counter puncher, which is their precisely look right, you know, but but now they're saying that Bradley is gonna win this fight. Bradley is not a counter puncher, not even a good one. He's not an elusive target, really, because he loves to fight. He loves to go toe to toe. Okay, he's strong, so he's going to make a mistake of like trying to overpower Pacquiao in his own game. I'm not saying that Bradley doesn't have any chance at all. He has a good chance. I said like uh, what we call this a punches chance, you know. You know, shit always happen in boxing. But I'm gonna say this, it's it's <sighs> I hate to say this because um, people might say I'm I'm a Pacquiao, not Tago. But Pacquiao is gonna win this fight. Because I've mentioned to you that Bradley is not a good counter puncher. Bradley's strong, which he's gonna go try toe to toe with Pacquiao. Try to take him out because he's younger. He will think that he's stronger. So he's gonna make the same mistake as the others. Who thought that they can overpower Pacquiao? And look what happened at the end. They all fell down. If Bradley does this, and I think he will do it, he's gonna be knocked out flat. Because Pacquiao, the more you fight toe to toe with him, the more you hit him, the more he will retaliate. For example, you've seen the Margarito fight, even though we say, yeah, he's kind of slow. He's kind of, you know, not skilled enough. But he is strong enough to take out Pacquiao, and he tried to take him out on the ropes. But look at what Pacquiao did. He retaliated, did four times, you know, of what he got, and, and, and you know, answered back to Margarito with harder shots, you know. He was there. I thought he was going to be knocked down with a body punch. Pacquiao was really hurt uh, on, on that body punch. But look at what he did. He retaliated. It gave him some more and hurt him in, you know, in the process at the end. And he's a bigger guy. No. <clears throat> I'm not gonna like be a prophet and say this is exactly what will happen because come fight night you know it's really up to them but as old cliche goes I mean come fight night they're gonna go like fight in their own style that they know
which Bradley has been undefeated using his style as being aggressive, strong puncher. He's going to use it again against Pacquiao because he never lost that way. And people are saying, oh, Pacquiao is getting old. He's what, 33, 34? But one thing you don't know is, yeah, I'm a Filipino, born and raised. You know. 33 is nothing. If you live a life that Pacquiao has through those hardships, you know, through those hardships and he survived. He's not old. 34, 33 is not old for us. Look at me, I'm 30 years old, but I feel like I'm like 22, 27. I don't tie that easy. 22, 24, whatever. That's what you have to understand about us, Asian Filipinos. You know, we don't get old easy. I'm not bragging. I, if. If you're gonna say, oh, how, what about Filipinos here in America? And hey, they're in America, they didn't grow up there. I was born and raised there, I know how it's like. I'm 30. But people are still, you know, surprised that, hey, you don't look like 30, you don't even act like 30. Yeah, because I don't feel like 30. I, I feel young. And I'm strong. So, <laughs> that's, you know, a big mistake that Bradley's gonna, you know, make think that Pacquiao is getting old. No. Not yet. 34, 35, not yet. Look at Marquez. He's what, what, 38? And he's still, you know, winning. Pacquiao is the same. He's younger. Like 30, if he's 35, then so be it. But Bradley should not make a mistake thinking that Pacquiao <laughs> is done for. He's He's not. He's still gonna go in miles. And he's still waiting for the Mayweather fight. So he's not gonna give up. Just yet. Um, there's so many things I wanna say about this fight. But one thing is for sure. For me, Pacquiao is gonna win. Because old habits. You know, Bradley, I don't think he's gonna bring some new things to the table. Because what I've told you, he's strong. He's going to try to use it against Pat. <laughs> and as we all know, Pat loves to fight. If you fight him, I'm going to fight you back ten times. This will be an exciting fight, I promise you that. Way more exciting than Miguel Cotto and Mayweather. Which, of course, that fight, you know, Mayweather Cotto will bring explosiveness in some rounds at some point it's gonna have its moment but Pacquiao and Bradley fight you know will go from start to finish excitement all the way if both people decide to do what they do best fight and fight never backing down and there's a big chance it's going to happen. Because that's what they are. They are fighters. Not boxers. So there you have it guys. Again, peace out.